Scratch trilogies that I have started but have yet to finish. So without further ado, and in no particular order, I shall start. The first series that I have started and want to finish is the Soul Screamer series by Rachel Vincent. And I have read these first two books. I have the third and the fourth books in my shelf thing, and but I have yet to read those two. And I really want to finish this series. I read the first book sometime last year, and the second book last month. And I really enjoyed this series. The characters are lovely. Um, everything about the like the world and the, just the whole banshee aspect is just really amazing. And I really, really want to get on and read these, finish the series because the last one came out recently. And yeah, so hopefully I'll be up to on those soon. The next series I want to finish is the Lion Game series by Sarah Shepherd. I have read these first two, and I have the third one there, but I don't want to take it out because it will probably fall. And I am in love with this series. This series is absolutely incredible. I think there are five or possibly six books out, but and I want to get my hands on the others. But I do want to finish this series very, very soon because it's just amazing, and I really love it. Um, I love the mystery aspect, and the main character Emma is really fun and interesting, and I like her, and the romance interest is just awesome. So, yeah. That's the second one. The next and third um, series that I want to finish is the Gallagher Girl series by Ali Carter. Um, I have read this first book. I have the second book somewhere. I'm not entirely sure where. But I read this book last year, and I absolutely loved it. It was so fun and interesting and a quick read and I loved it and the whole premise is absolutely fantastic and the characters are wow and I just loved everything about this um, series. It is fun and I really recommend that anyone who hasn't read this series yet would pick it up even though I've only read the first one. I want to read the rest of them because I think the sixth and final book came out last month I want to say or is coming out this month. One of the two. But yes, I love this series. Number four is a trilogy that I want to finish and I have read the first book and it is the Delirium Trilogy by Lauren Oliver. I have read the first book and I read it sometime possibly last year and I have got Pandemonium for my birthday but I have yet to read it because I'm a bad person. I really am. I really enjoyed the first book Delirium. I think I only gave it 4 out of 5 stars though but I really did enjoy it and I can't wait to get to the sequel because I've heard it's supposed to be even better and the third one apparently is supposed to be a bit of a letdown. But I really want to finish the series and see where all the characters and everything goes because it's just like, ah, and amazing and, yeah, like that. The next is another trilogy that I want to finish and I have only read the first book and I only own the first book, unfortunately. But I want to get my hands on the second one soon and it is The Chemical Gardens Trilogy by ooh, Lauren De Stefano and the first one is Wither and I have read Wither. And I read this sometime this year and I absolutely adored it. It was really, really fantastic. Ah, uh, the kind of dystopian kind of world is really amazing, or is it post-apocalyptic? Either one of the two, and I just love it, and oh, the character's lovely, um, everything is just so interesting and fantastic, and I just can't praise this book highly enough, and I can't wait to get to the second and the third book when I finally buy them, because I believe this trilogy is going to be absolutely fantastic. The next series that I want to finish is the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. I have read City of Bones, the own City of Ashes, but I have yet to read it, but I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on it and opening the book and reading the pages. Uh, this for the series was amazing. I got I read City of Bones uh, was at the beginning of this year. I absolutely adored it. It was really, really fantastic. I've not read a whole lot of fantasy books before, um, but this one was very, very great good. And I, everything, all the hype that's been going on around the series is totally, totally true. And I just recommend it to anyone. You should pick this book up. You really should. And I need to pick this one up sometime soon. But I just need to work it into my to-be-read list. The seventh series that I want to finish is also another trilogy. And it is the uh, Revenant series by Amy Plum. And the first one is Die For Me. And the second is Until I Die. And I think the third one is called If I Should Die. If I Should Die was recently released, I think. I read the first one. I got the second one for Christmas or my birthday. I think it was my birthday. But I have yet to read it, unfortunately, because I just haven't managed to get around to it. But I adored the first book. It was so original and creative, and I loved it. And it's set in Paris, and the covers are gorgeous. And I just absolutely adored this series, um, this um, 
first book and I really really want to start the second one and I may actually uh, bump it into my list for this month actually because it looks so amazing and I just want to pick it up and hopefully I'll get my third one very very soon. The next is The Partial Sequence by Dan Wells. The second one is out and I want to get my hands on that book but I have yet to read it. I'm not sure if it's going to be a trilogy or a series or, or, or if it's just a duology or anything but I absolutely adore Partials. I read it last month and it was really really fantastic. It's quickly become one of my favourite favourite books and it just looks really, it was just really, really fantastic. Um, I love post-apocalyptic worlds and everything along those lines. It's just absolutely freaking fantastic. But yes, I really, really enjoyed this book and I really want to pick up the sequel as soon as I can so I continue on with this world and see where all the characters go and what happens to everything in that. So yeah. The next one is also a trilogy and it is the Eve trilogy by Anna Carey. And this is the Eve, the first book. I think the second one is called Once and the third one escapes my mind I'm afraid. Um, I read this theory, this um, first book sometime this year possibly and I really really enjoyed it. It was such an amazing amazing world. Now with this, and again this is another post-apocalyptic um, book series but just because I absolutely love them and things like that. I have not yet got the second or the third but I want to pick them up as soon as I can. Hopefully even in hardback or in the mass, uh, in the American paperback version like this one. So yes, I'm very, very, very excited because I loved this book and the ending of this book absolutely killed me and I was like, no, you can't do that. So I need to pick up the second one to see what happens to the characters because I love me some of these characters. I do. And finally, the tenth and final series that I want to finish is the Body Finder series by Kim Lee Dirting. I read the first book of this one forget when I did but I absolutely adored this and it's absolutely friggin fantastic. I can't explain how much I love this book because it's just incredible. I have the second book somewhere, it seems to have run away at the moment but hopefully I will be getting around to that soon within the next couple of months. Um, I think there are four books in this series, the third one is called The Last Echo and The Fourth Dead Silence or something along those lines, I think those are right. But this series is really really incredible, I love the characters and the romance in this is fantastic and I love the whole premise of this about this girl being able to find uh, bo um, dead bodies it's just absolutely crazy it's really cray cray did I just say that it's just really really fantastic book this was and I really can't wait to finish this series and see what happens to all the characters and everything along those lines so yes I love these anyway those were the top 10 books series that I've started but have yet to finish Thanks for watching this video guys and why don't you leave me a comment telling me your top 10 book series that you need to finish. Anyway, happy reading. Bye!